there, I'm Robin Ray, I'm the owner and operator of Lily Lane Decor and Design, uh, located just outside of London, Ontario. And today I'm going to show you how to make these really awesome embossed flower pots using some country chic products. Um, as part of my business, the, the, my main, um, the main things that I make are small projects, like the signs you see in the background, flower pots, small pieces of furniture, that sort of thing. Um, and so, and I love country chic paint, and I'm going to tell you a little bit about how to make this, uh, this flower pot here. Um, if you have not used country chic paint before, um, you can get a 10% off coupon um, by using the code Lily Lane. L-I-L-Y-L-A-N-E and then the number 10 um, and that'll give you 10% off your first online order of country sheet paint um, and that will come right to your door um, you don't have to go out and get it so we all love online shopping so that's a nice way to get a little bit of a deal um, so to make this flower pot today we're going to be using the following country sheet products we're going to be using two contrasting colors of paint um, sorry my paint cancer been used, they're well loved. Um, we're going to be using Rocky Mountain and Vanilla Frosting. We're also going to be using Texture Powder. For any of you guys out there watching live, have you used Texture Powder before? If you have, can you leave us a comment um, and tell us about some of the projects that you've used um, Texture Powder on? I have, uh, I really like this product. It, it has a lot of uses, including um, the project that we're going to make today. Um, and I'm going to show you another project, a couple other projects that I've made with it as well. So we're going to be using texture powder. We're going to be using um, the Smoky Quartz Glaze. Uh, some clear glaze as well, just to mix in with the Smoky Quartz. You could alternatively use something like antiquing wax. Uh, you could use a different glaze in the choice of your color, or the color of your choice. Can you tell? I'm a little nervous. Um, we are going to be using Crackle Medium. This is optional in um, this project, so you could use it or not, and I'll explain that when we get to that step. Uh, some other products that we're going to be needing are a spray adhesive, um, a spoon, an empty container, and I have an empty container of texture uh, from texture powder here that I'm going to be using. Um, resealable is nice. Is left and use that for another project. Uh, a little. A putty knife or a scraper, some kind of a straight edge that's going to be for spreading our texture um, powder paint mixture when we get there. So, and some sandpaper. And of course, paint brushes. Um, the other thing that we'll be needing are clay pots and some kind of a stencil. This is a stencil that I've made um, using some, actually, what this is, is it's a plastic. You go to my Etsy shop, which is Lily Lane Decor and Design on Etsy, and you use the code Country Chic, all one word, all caps. You can get this set of um, monograms, so A to Z, all with the laurels, all um, also the all the letters are bridged, so they'll all be single piece stencils, and you can get that for free if you use that coupon code. So again, um, that's my Etsy shop, Lily Lane Decor and Design on Etsy, and the coupon code is Country Chic, all caps, all one word. And you can get this set of um, SVG or DXF if you're a Silhouette user for free that you can then cut out of cardstock or material of your choice to use for this project. All right, so um, if you're just tuning in now, this is the project that we're going to be making. They're these embossed, personalized, monogrammed flower pots um, using Country Chic paint products. Um, and we're going to be starting with this clay pot and the stencil um, here uh, monogrammed. Okay, so to start off, we're going to have to mix up a paint and texture powder uh, mixture. So I'm going to start with my texture powder. Obviously, I don't want to use this whole can. So I'm going to dump a small amount for just one, one um, pot. I just need a, a very limited amount of texture powder. And I'm going to mix it about one to one with paint. And in this case, I've decided that I'm going to use Rocky Mountain paint as my under color. Um, you could do this project with just a single color. So this is a pot I did, and it's all one color. So my texture medium um, and my uh, paint in this particular one is all a single color, as compared to this one where we have an under color um, of the Rocky Mountain with the vanilla frosting over top. So it's your choice as to how you would want to do that. Uh, 
Um, so here's my Rocky Mountain paint. I'm just going to add it. Um, and starting with a small amount, I can always add a little bit more paint or a little bit more texture powder until I get the consistency that I want. Um, I love texture powder because it mixes in so nice and smoothly with the paint. It doesn't alter to alter the color of the paint at all. Um, it mixes in really, really, really quickly. Uh, so if you've compared it to other similar products, this one um, mixes up, a, I think, a lot nicer than, than most. So there I'm just mixing that up. There we go. Okay, so again, if you haven't tried Country Chic Paint and you want to give it a try um, and you want a little bit of a discount, um, you can uh, go to countrychicpaint.com and use the code LILYLANE10, so that's L-I-L-Y-L-A-N-E 10, to get 10% um, off your first purchase online. Country Chic is also giving away an awesome prize pack during this live. They're giving away a pint of paint, uh, that's the all-in-one decor paint, which is lovely. All the projects on the wall behind me are all made using Country Chic paint as well. Um, so they're giving away a pint of paint, a pint of the texture powder, so if you've not used it before and this inspires you to give it a try, um, then you can, you can grab that as part of that prize pack, um, as well as an oval brush. So that's a really, really nice prize, and all you have to do Sarah will be picking a winner close to the end of our video. Just leave a comment on the video. Um, tell us a little bit about um, what you might want to use this, this product for. Um, or if you have used it before, tell us where you're from. Send us some likes or some hearts and, uh, can, and Sarah will pick somebody to win that prize. So once I've got my mixture, you can see it's pretty thick. It doesn't fall off my spoon too easily. Um, so that's kind of the consistency that I'd be wanting and it does take a minute to get to this consistency so if you if you start mixing it and you think oh it's a little bit too um, too thick give it a second um, before you add or um, add either paint or um, more powder so I have gone ahead before this video started and I've sprayed the back of my stencil with some of this spray adhesive Depending on what uh, material you're using for your stencil, you might want a uh, different spray adhesive. So I've experimented with a few and I kind of like this one. Um, works fairly well. I don't like getting it all over inside, so I like to do that outside. So that's why I did that ahead of time. I've let it set so it's just tacky. And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna position it on my pot the way I want it. Um, and I'm not gonna be too- Unfortunately, it'll cut out. Too crazy worried about um, if it's perfect or not and now I'm gonna go ahead with my little um, I'm gonna put some some of my texture mixture onto my stencil just gonna make sure I cover all the openings in my stencil with it And I'm going to just use my scraper to flatten it out so I get a nice smooth texture. I'll show you later on. We can, um, if, you do, if you don't like the, the texture on it, when you're done, you can always sand a little bit. So there's that. And then I just remove my stencil, leaving behind the raised embossed um, image of my stencil. I'm going to set that one to the side. If you are a retailer and you are um, looking to do this as a class, this actually dries quite quickly. So if you're doing it as a workshop or um, something like that, or uh, you want to do this, um, you know, sort of quickly, it, the terracotta pots actually suck up a lot of the moisture of the paint. So you could probably do this workshop in like an hour or an hour and a half in real time. Um, but because obviously you guys don't want to watch paint dry, I've made uh, the steps up already. So this one is the next step. So this is the texture powders dry. It's on there um, nice and firmly. If I find that it's too bumpy or raised, I can just give it a little sand with like a 320 grit sandpaper. Um, I am going to then just take my Rocky Mountain paint again. 
and um, because we don't really want we want this to look like kind of a rich high-end pot we don't want it to look just like your run-of-the-mill terracotta pot from the hardware store so I'm gonna do the whole thing in Rocky Mountain Just painting the whole pot and again if you are just tuning in we are making these awesome personalized pots um, if you are interested in given country sheet paint to try you can log on to www.countrysheetpaint.com and use the coupon code lilylane 10 to get 10% off your first online order um, you can also find on that website you can find local retailers um, if you are local to the London area that's where we're located um, and we have two locations here in London we have Prim and Popper in Hyde Park and our main location um, on Nine Mile Road there we go so there's my pot all painted up I am going to paint just a little bit of the inside of the lip here um, so that when I put my soil in, I don't see any of that terracotta showing. There we go. Okay. So I'm just going to set that one off to the side. And again, like I said, these dry super quick because of the terracotta. It sucks up the moisture in the paint. And that color was Rocky Mountain. So the undercolor of this is Rocky Mountain. If you guys want to comment on what colors you think would look awesome, what country sheet colors you think would look awesome on these pots, that would be great. We'd really appreciate that. Um, and again, if you leave a comment, Sarah is going to choose somebody to win that awesome prize pack of a pint of, of paint, a pint of texture powder, and um, also the oval brush. Okay, so the next, I've done, I've skipped a step again here and done a little prep ahead of time. Um, so you can see there's some shiny spots on my pot. I've decided to use a little bit of the crackle. Uh, so that's Country Sheik's crackle. Now it does require a little bit of a setting time in order for it to be effective. So I've gone ahead and applied that. I've let it set so we can paint over it. Um, and that's an optional step. So I think there should be a blog post with the written steps and some photo instructions and that sort of thing on Country Chic's website. If you are looking at that, you'll notice that that's an optional step to add just a little bit more dimension, a little bit more age um, and interest to your pot. So you can do that. Um, when you are using crackle, one of the things to be careful of is not to overwork your paint over the crackle. So you'll notice I'm just going to do like one or two quick swipes of my paint over top of the crackle. And this is one of Country Chic's awesome short handle brushes. They're super. Um, I love them. Okay, and, then just, and I don't mind here for this pot for a little bit of a dry brushy sort of a look. We are going for an aged looking piece here. And while I'm painting this, I'm going to introduce my camera person. Her name is Kim. Uh, she's a friend of mine and she runs a super interesting business in the London area where she um, offers home parties with all locally uh, handmade items. So um, she comes to people's houses and brings all sorts of awesome local handmade goods right to your door. And her business is called The Pop-Up Peddler. So if you are um, in the London area and you are interested in more information, you can um, search The Pop-Up Peddler and, uh, and you'll get to see Kim's awesome new innovative business. Um, she's the only one in London that I know of that's doing something like that. So um, you can check that out. So there we go. That's all painted now with my vanilla frosting. Uh, you can already start to see some of the cracks happening in the paint and it will continue to crackle as it dries and like I said the caution with that crackle medium is just don't overwork your paint otherwise it just mixes right in there and uh, you don't get a very nice crackling effect. Okay and again if you are just tuning in the project that we are making are these monogrammed personalized pots. I think these would be amazing centerpieces at a wedding. You could do them really big. These are four inch pots. Um, I just happened to find four inch pots. 
that was what was available um, when I was looking around these are dollar store pots so it's like also a pretty inexpensive project that you can work on um, and yeah so these are just four inch ones but they would be amazing as great big terracotta pots um, on your front porch or like I said wedding centerpieces I think they would also be awesome with the table numbers you could do your numbered tables um, on the pots that would be super cool too so anyways that's uh, that's them if you are looking for the SVG or DXF files depending on what kind of a cutter you have if you have a Cricut or a silhouette you want the files to cut these stencils um, Lily Lane Decor and Design on Etsy and use the code Country Chic Paint, all caps, all one word, to get them for free. Um, and it is A to Z, and uh, you can they they'll cut uh, just like this cardstock or um, mylar, whatever you have available. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a little bit of sanding. I want to reveal my um, my embossing, so I want to make that embossing pop out. That's why I've done a a contrasting color underneath so there's that embossing popping out I can also sand a little bit around the edges again we're looking for that you know that super like old classic sort of a look here and If you guys have any questions as I'm going along, feel free to ask them. Um, all right, so there we go. There's my design, kind of um, that embossing standing out. Now, if I if I wanted to, I could absolutely leave the pot like this. It's gorgeous as it is. I could just put my plant in. I'd be all set. Um, or alternatively, I can add some more dimension to that and I can either add some wax um, or in this case I'm going to do a smoky quartz glaze. Now I find for this the glaze on its own is just a little overpowering um, given that it's like a, a small project um, so I like to mix it with a little bit, oops, a little bit of clear coat. Yeah, I exact same um, colors underneath and one's been glazed and one has not. And you know what, before I do that, I'm going to show you one other super cool project. So this is the exact same design that I've used, the same set of, um, of uh, stencils, except for I've cut this one big and I've just done it on a piece of plywood. So that's um, something else you can do. Again, if you're a retailer and you're looking to do this as a project with some of your customers and you want something that's a little less intimidating than the curved surface of the pot, then that's another easy one to do. And uh, you can use the same designs, again, cut them out of cardstock or out of mylar, um, and, uh, and you can make that. So here we go with the glaze. So like I said, it's a little, like that's a little too much for me. So I'm just going to dry brush a little bit on in various places, and then I'm going to use my clear to spread it around and soften it up a little. Therese thinks it'd be great for her daughter's first apartment. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. And it's getting to, whoops, my clear doesn't want to open. Um, there we go. I don't know what's going on there. It really wasn't that hard to open. All right, there we go. So there's the clear. Um, yeah, they would absolutely make great housewarming presents would make, um, you know, it's getting to be that time of year where people are starting to think about bringing some plants inside, or at least I am, to make my house feel a little, you know, summery longer. These would be amazing. A big one with a potted mum in it on your porch. That just um, lets that glaze spread a little bit over around and just sink into those um, areas around my embossing. So 
So could you put like a Christmas wreath on it? A Christmas for a Christmas? Oh, for sure. Yeah, there's so many cool things that you could do with this, this paste. If you want to make like a tiled look or... All right, and then that's that. All it has to do now is dry and then it's ready for your favorite plant. All right, does anybody have any questions? Sarah's gonna tell us a name, I think, pretty soon to win this prize pack, which again is a pint of Country Chic paint, a pint of texture powder, um, and an oval brush. So that's a, that's a super cool prize that somebody can win. Um, you got a name, Kim? Yes, I do. Kim's Deb Howard Harper. Okay, so Deb Howard Harper is the winner of that awesome prize pack from Country Chic Paint. Um, is Sarah going to tell us how Deb can get in touch with them? Deb, how, how can, how can uh, Deb get a hold of you? Sarah will connect with her. She, okay, um, she... Country Chic Paint is going to send you a um, the information okay. and get back to you. Awesome. You can get back to them. Super. Okay. All right. So that's awesome. Thank you so much, everybody, for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And uh, let me know if you have any questions. And again, if you want that 10% off, it's uh, the www.countrychicpaint.com. You can log on there to find a local retailer, or you can shop online. Um, with your 10% off coupon, which is Lily Lane 10. Thanks so much for watching.